morning, everyone. I'd like to thank you for coming this morning to dedicate the Gary Smith Memorial Highway. It was a year ago today that Gary was struck and killed by a vehicle while performing traffic control duties near here. It's more than a highway that we're dedicating. We're honoring a rugged yet kind man who never went a day without an infectious smile on his face. We're paying tribute to a loving husband to wife Sue and father to a son, Gary Jr. And we're honoring Gary's other family, his coworkers at Caltrans, especially those at the Chico Maintenance Yard. As a maintenance lead worker, he relished the opportunity to take rookies under his wing, showing them the ropes with a fatherly patience. When coworkers were going through a rough day, Gary was there to help them get through it. During his 32 years at Caltrans, Gary prided himself in serving the people of California. He was willing to take a call out at any time and any day, and Sue can certainly vouch for that. Gary altered their wedding plans for a call out to clear snow. Gary lost his life to what he loved doing, ensuring the safety of the traveling public. And today's dedication is a solemn reminder that 177 of his fellow Caltrans workers also have died in the line of duty in the past nine decades. Caltrans is proud to be able to dedicate this stretch of highway to Gary Smith. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's uh, great to be able to gather here with you all in, uh, in a very solemn occasion here and one that's uh, certainly uh, very worthy and I think necessary to, to mark when uh, one of our uh, fellow workers, when one of our public servants is uh, struck down and actually that night, a double tragedy here, a tragedy on top of a tragedy. So uh, I'm uh, only honored to be able to joint author the uh, resolution to signify this piece of highway here as the Gary Smith Memorial in honor of Sue and of his memory and of all of you as uh, workers in this dangerous occupation. You know, it makes me think that maybe we need to put a little more emphasis on slow for the cone zone to maybe uh, slow for the expletive cone zone or something like that because we're not see getting the message across very well we keep hearing about these things so we got to shake people up a little bit more so we don't keep having this go on but on this day it's um it's one we can just slow down in our own lives and uh contemplate what this is what it is what it is for his memory and for all of his dear friends here I got to chat with a few of you here and and um you know that relationship will always be uh, reminded to not just you all and me as I travel here, but to many hundreds of thousands of travelers in this area. So it's very significant in that we do this. And so um, my apologies for the process in Sacramento too. We're not very speedy on getting things done. So um, I don't know what you've heard, but finally there was a there was contemplation of maybe a moratorium on doing things like this over on the assembly side and I was able to talk to some folks over there say you know we really shouldn't do moratoriums on this although on the statewide level it's one thing but at the local level to the people that are being remembered here to their families their co-workers it's a very good thing so we got it through got it through as quickly as the legislature does I'm happy to be able to join author that legislation to to get it done and uh, so to all of you, you know, God bless you all, uh, to Gary's memory, and bless you with safety as you continue to do your roles for us out on the highway, and Sue especially. God bless you, ma'am. Thank you. I'd like to thank all the people from various agencies involved in getting this sign made and into the ground, especially Caltrans Supervisor Jeff Hemstock, Deputy District Director of Maintenance and Traffic Operation, Steve Kirkpatrick. Director, District Director Jody Jones. Sutter Sierra Regional Manager, Stan Richens. And uh, Superintendent Ray Smith, as well as Senator Doug LaMalfa for his co-sponsorship of the necessary legislation. From the bottom of our hearts, my family and I thank you. We shouldn't even be here today. 
We shouldn't be standing here unveiling another sign erected for yet another loyal Caltrans employee who lost his life in the line of duty. It happens all too often, and I continue to be sickened and disgusted by it. But we are here today because one year ago, today, Gary received yet another routine call out, this time to this very intersection, for a drunk driving fatality that in the end resulted in four deaths, including his own. Gary left that evening after we said our customary goodbye, a hug, a kiss, and I love you. That was the last time I saw him, the last time I saw his smiling face or heard his infectious laugh. That is until today. Gary is with us right now, humbled by what he is about to witness. All who knew and loved Gary will miss him forever. I miss him every day, and he will hold a place in my heart forever. But I believe that things happen for a reason. So I am not wallowing in sorrow and self-pity. Instead, I'm moving forward with my life, learning from the devastating experience. And that lesson is, that every moment is a gift. You hear people say that all the time, people that have suffered a loss, but until you experience it yourself, you really don't grasp it. And it true, it is true. Every moment, all the little petty stuff that we go through every day means nothing. The sign I am about to unveil is a lasting tribute to a loyal employee, co-worker, loving husband, father, brother, son-in-law, brother-in-law, and friend. And with that, I'm going to walk over here and unveil the Caltrans lead worker, Gary Wayne Smith Memorial Highway sign. Thank you.